हेलो एवरी वन हवा यू ऑल वेलकम टू वन पेज बायोलॉजी इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक विच इज कॉल्ड एज कॉम्प्लीमेंट पाथवे नाउ बेसिकली दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक इज इम्पॉर्टेंट बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफन फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक क्वेश्चन आर आस्ट इन सी एस आई आर नेट लाइफ साइंस एग्जामिनेशन इवन इन द स्टेट लेवल सेट एग्जाम्स Uh, the questions are based on this particular topic or for that matter uh, different types of exams which are uh, you know related to the phd entrance so let's start with the particular topic so name, let me uh, write down the name of the topic the name of the topic is complement system In today's video, we are going to talk about one of the types of complement system. So, essentially, there are three types of complement system which you need to know. One is called as classical complement pathway. Classical complement pathway. The other is called as MBL pathway. that is nothing but mannose binding lectin pathway and the third one is alternative pathway so those who are watching this video make sure you also simultaneously note down because this is important and uh, you can refer to this particular notes later okay so out of these three important complement pathways we are going to study the first one that is classical complement pathway so let us understand this now as we said we are going to talk about the classical complement pathway now i am going to explain you step by step what exactly is the classical complement pathway now first of all what is a complement pathway now everyone you have to understand that when we talk about the immune system our immune system acts in a specific way so complement pathway acts with the help of certain proteins now these proteins when they are bound to sometimes the membrane receptors or even if they are bound to the antigen antibody complexes which are present on particular cell then such complexes when they get bound to the complement proteins that will lead to the lysis of that particular cell or we can also call it as the phagocytosis of that particular cell so in other words complement pathway means there are certain special proteins which are present inside the serum and when these proteins get bound to when these proteins get bound to antigen antibody complex which is basically a soluble form of complex so when these proteins get bound to the antigen antibody complex let me also give you an example of it let's say the example is of c3b protein now when this particular protein will get bound to the antigen antibody complex present on the cell now when we talk about a cell it can be any particular cell so it can be a cell most of the times uh these cells are either the pathogenic cells like it can be a uh, a virus infected cell or it can be a bacteria uh, whichever cell so these cells when they expose these harmful antigens 
and when the antibodies actually bind to these particular antigens which are exposed by these cells then a complex is formed which is called as a soluble antigen antibody complex and these uh, complexes attract certain special proteins uh, which are present inside the serum and these proteins come and attach to the antigen antibody complex so what is the result of this i mean to say when these special proteins when actually bind to the antigen antibody complexes present on the cell they will ultimately lead to a formation of something called as a membrane attack complex a membrane attack complex means it will create pores in the cell as a result of which the cell will undergo hydrolysis that means it will undergo breakdown so ultimately the cell is going to get completely broken down so whenever the a complement protein gets bind to the antigen antibody complex present on the uh, pathogen infected cell then such a cell is ultimately going to get killed or it is going to be completely broken down so the ultimate aim of a complement pathway is to actually kill the pathogen infected cells or the virus infected cells but there can be certain secondary functions of complement uh, pathway also something like basically inflammation so that we will discuss in some other video now today as i said we are going to focus on the one of the types of complement pathways and that is nothing but a classical complement pathway now in classical complement pathway we need to know a certain proteins which are playing role in classical complement pathway so let us start with it now we need to know that inside the serum there are certain important proteins which are acting as the complement proteins and these are nothing but c1 c2 c3 and c4 so initially these proteins are present in the inactive form and such proteins are called as zymogens so these are some inactive proteins now out of this one of the complement proteins that is the c1 complement protein now the c1 complement protein exists in the form of a complex and this complex is a macromolecular complex which is nothing but c1 q r2 and s2 so this is the complex which is basically important and this is a uh, complex it's a macromolecular complex so in this particular complex out of this complex the c1 component must bind to the antigen antibody complex which is present on the membrane of the membrane of the cell so c1 protein must bind to the antigen antibody complex so when we talk about antigen antibody complexes there are two major antibodies which are involved in the complement system one is basically the igm antibody and the second is igg antibody now what you need to know is the igm antibody is initially present in the pentamer form it is a pentamer form and basically it is present in the planar form so because it is present in the planar form the there is no actually binding sites available for the complement proteins but as soon as it binds to the particular antigen that means whenever this igm antibody binds to different types of antigens then in that case it will convert from a planar form and it will become tapel form 
and once it takes the form of a staple configuration it will expose certain sites and those are available to bind to the complement proteins but whereas if you talk about igg antibody igg antibody is always in the dimer form and it has only a single binding site for complement protein so in this video tutorial we have understood the part 1 of classical complement pathway in the next video we will see the second part of classical complement pathway if you have understood this much please like and share the video see you all in the next video thank you so much